Hi guys, it's Elizabeth with Team Epic Reads, and today's episode of DIYA is all about my favorite season, fall, yay! And you know what fall means, Halloween and pumpkins and trick-or-treating and scary movies, and more importantly, scary books, like the Asylum series by Madeline Rue. The third book in the series, Catacomb, just came out, and it's all about a really creepy road trip to New Orleans, which is known as one of the most haunted places in the United States. So, in honor of that, we are going to be making a spooky scrapbook. So scrapbooking is really personal, so I want you guys to use all the types of things that you would want to include in a scrapbook. But there are a few things that you're probably going to want no matter what type of scrapbook you want to make. So you're going to need some scissors, I like to have a ruler to keep my line straight, an X-Acto knife is helpful if you're cutting out really small things, some glue, I like to have all different types of glue including a glue gun, my favorite tool. And then other than that, really just have fun with it. A couple of things that I bought are some of these weird little spooky doilies that I'm gonna use for some borders. I got tons of spooky scrapbook paper. These skulls are pretty amazing. And some gemstones, of course. I mean, just because it's spooky doesn't mean it can't be sparkly too. And I also like to get a little bit creative with my scrapbooks and use some items that might be a little bit different. So things like leaves, I even have some burlap. I really want you guys to just have a ton of fun with this. And lastly, scrapbooking is a great place to display all your photos. And right within the pages of Catacomb, are these really spooky, creepy photos from New Orleans and from the travels on the road trip. So I went ahead and printed out lots of really cool, creepy photos from the book that I'm gonna use in my scrapbook. So our first step today, we're just gonna map out some of our pages. So maybe this can be your center spread. You might wanna have two pages that complement each other. So I went with these two pages that have these really creepy skulls on them. I totally love them. So I'm gonna want these to be side by side. So I'm just gonna lay them out. And the next step is really to just start mapping out where you want things to go. So I'm gonna take a couple of my materials and just lay them out and see what happens. Okay, so I just picked out my four photos that I want to use for this spread. I'm going to keep mine a little bit simple because I want to focus on putting a lot of decorations on these two pages, but you can put as many or as few photos as you want. And because this book is so awesome, there are a lot of creepy pictures of skulls, so they are perfect for my skull page. So I just went ahead and laid them out where I want them, and now I'm going to take some time to think about what kind of borders I want to put on them, what kind of decorations I want to do, if there's a color theme I want to go for. So I bought some plain orange scrapbook paper in addition to my cool background paper, and I'm going to use this as a mat for my photos. So I kind of want to have some separation between the photo and the background and make them really pop. Plus, it matches the cover, which is my favorite thing. So I know I'm going to be doing that. And then I also have a bunch of other different types of decorations. So I cut up some of these little Halloween doilies. I cut the corners off. and so. Maybe I want those to be borders, so I can do something like this, put these in the corners. Maybe I want to keep some of them whole and kind of map them out on top of it. It's really completely up to you what you want to do. I also bought these kind of cool little sticker decorations, so I'm going to start really just kind of playing here and seeing what I like. The most important thing is to never glue anything down until you're totally sure where you want it. So I just mapped out where I want all my photos to be and I added some cool borders and decorations. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue those down and then we're gonna go on to the next step. So first I'm just going to glue the photo onto the orange mat with my glue stick. Oh, it's purple, so Halloween-y, perfect. So I'll just go ahead and put some glue on this. I also like to not glue things down too, too much. Like I don't like to press too hard just in case I need to redo anything. So the first photo is on the mat, and now I just want to make sure that everything is in the exact right place before I actually glue it down onto the background. So I'm going to very carefully lift up my photo, making sure that my little corners are still in the right place. And now I'm going to do each one individually, and I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue so that it will allow me to fix it if I have to. So I'm not going to press down too hard, I'm just going to do a little bit. So first two are there, I'm going to double check. Put my photo back on, we're still good. Okay, gonna do my bottom two now. So this one moved a little bit, so I'm gonna just put that one back in place, hold them here. Scrapbooking is a science. You might not know that, but it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna make sure again, one more time, that we're in the right place. Looking good. Now I just have to glue my photo down. 
Yay, so I have officially glued down my photo, so everything is nice and secure. Um, but I still left a little bit of room in the corners just in case I wanna change anything up a little bit. Now I still wanna make these even more jazzy than they are now. So one of the best parts about scrap of paper is that you don't have to use it as the background. You can cut things out, you can make borders, you can really do whatever you want with this. It's nice and sturdy, so it's really, really great for all kinds of crafts. So what I'm gonna do is I really love this triangle uh, pattern on here. So I'm gonna actually cut out little strips of this to make a border around both of my pages. And then I might do some other cool stuff next too. This is looking so awesome. I'm so excited about it. I just added this gold border around both pages because I want these pages to kind of look like they all go together as one theme with these cool skulls and these awesome photos from the book. So now I'm just gonna have fun with it and put some cool decorations on it. I love adding some 3D elements like I mentioned before. So I'm gonna put on some fall orange leaves that match. And I have these really cool looking gemstone stickers that, I mean, why not? It kind of jazzes it up a little bit. New Orleans theme, jazz. Let's just do it. So I'm gonna use my hot glue gun for this part. And I think I'm just gonna put a dab. I'm gonna glue on this leaf and kind of stick this little sticker right on it. I love scrapbooking so much because it's an activity that you can do with somebody but also still have it be really special to you. You can do it alone, you can do it while watching TV. I would love to figure out how to do it while reading. Don't really know how that would go, but there's gotta be a way, right? Audiobooks, maybe. And then last but not least, you know my favorite part, the sequins. So I'm just gonna use these as some little accents in the corners and then we're gonna call it a day. So while we're here putting on our bling, it's a great time to talk about the book. I really love this book because it really has that like edge of your seat feel to it. Uh, while they're on their road trip, they're being followed and they start to realize that this like really creepy guy is following them who somebody apparently died on Halloween and they're getting these weird phone calls about it. It's just kind of all of that really creepy stuff that you love about Halloween and scary movies. So if you are into horror, you are gonna absolutely love these books. So I highly, highly recommend the series. Okay, we are all set. Now you can go ahead and do more pages. You can just go ahead and slide these right into your scrapbook and have some fun. Check it out.